Hello, second graders. We are so excited that today we should be meeting you at supply pickup. But unfortunately, what that means is that you are working asynchronously today without us. So we wanted to give you some fun and we wanted you to show us what you know about the math that we have been doing over the past few weeks. You are going to be tasked with a challenge to run a candy store. Doesn't this look like a fun candy store? We hope that you have fun and just do your best. So what you're going to do today is make the plan. You can't believe it. Your family is buying a candy store and you get to help run it. You get to decide many things. So the first thing you're going to do is type a name for your candy store. So maybe you want to name it after yourself. Maybe you want to say Mrs. Brown's candy. Maybe you want to come up with something really fun like rainbows and turtles. Okay, rainbows for the many different colors of of jelly beans and different candies you can get at a candy store and turtles because maybe that's your favorite kind of candy. Think of different candy stores that you have seen and have been to. Wickies and Chewies is one in Dover that's a lot of fun. So just think about that. So come up with a name for your candy store and then you're going to have to advertise. This will take up probably most of your time today, but make sure it doesn't take up all of your time. So you are going to make a design on a poster that you can put up to advertise your new candy store. Now, there's two ways you can do this. You can do this, you can print this page and you can do it with paper, pencil, markers, crayons, whatever you want to do. Or you can just use a plain sheet if you can't print, or I can show you how to do this on the computer. So it says use the tools located in the insert menu, which is right here to create your post. And I'm going to go to insert. And I think the first thing I want to do is write. So we could say rainbows and turtles candy shop. And then underneath, I'm going to say opening soon. All right. Maybe I want to put in a picture. You can either press this one that says insert image, or you can go here and insert image if you don't want to draw. Okay. And I'm going to search the web. And look, I have candy store here already. So look at this. Ooh, I like this one. So I'm just going to insert that. You just click on it. There we go. And maybe I need some turtles because it's rainbows and turtles, right? You can see those rainbows. So I'm going to try and find turtles. And look at, oh my goodness, those baby turtles are cute, but those are sea turtles. Um, which one do I want? Maybe I'll take this one because it is cute. These are the green sea turtles that were in Hawaii when I lived there. I'm going to put that guy right there. Okay, so oops, that's not how we spell rainbow, but it came up anyway. All different kinds of rainbows. So maybe I'll use that one. And ooh, I like how that looks. Maybe I'm going to move this down. <clears throat> All right, so you can see how my poster has kind of changed. I've added different things. I made my own little turtle. You can add pictures. So don't take too much time on it, maybe 10 minutes. But if you draw it, it might be a little bit easier. So the next thing you're going to do, you have two worksheets. This first one, you have to stock your shelves. So this is asking you to come in and stock the shelves with candy. Figure out how many of each candy was ordered. Each column here has a value. So this is hundreds, tens, and ones, okay? So if I look at this and I'm going to type how much we have, this is the just base 10, and I need to put this in standard form. So if I have four 
hundreds, three tens, and eight ones, I know I have 438. So I would just write 438 in there. Okay, and then you're gonna go through and do that for all the different kinds of candies. The questions you have down here are using this information up here. It's kind of graphing and getting information from what you have listed. The last thing you have today is surveying your customers to find out what they want. So it says you decide to survey 100 kids in your school to see what kind of candy is their favorite. Here are the results. So you're going to look at each candy here and match it to this bar graph over here. So the first one is gummy worms. So it, I go up here to the first block and it says I have five gummy worms. So I would make sure that is an X or a cross or an X and I'm going to show in base 10 blocks that I have five of these gummy worms, okay? And then you're going to go through each candy and do that. Then down here, you're just going to fill in the information. There's a little bit of adding, and then there's just typing the answer of how much you have. So that's what you have to do today while you are by yourself or working asynchronously, so not coming online with us today. We hope you have fun. We're going to do more of this running the candy store throughout the week. So keep your thoughts open on how you can run your best candy store. And we can't wait to meet you guys. We hope you have a great day.